All right, so very quickly, let's talk back again about that normal approximation. So I am going to read this out to you and, and then just kind of break it up on those two main definitions. So inference about a population proportion that p-value in the Reese's Pieces uh, example, then if we are told by the Reese's Corporation that the orange distribution of all of their bags should be 0.45, that would be a p-value, or 0.15, that would be a p-value. So inference about a population proportion p is based on the sampling distribution of p hat. So if I'm looking at lots of simulations and I look at their p hat value, based off of the sampling distribution. So lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of samples. Then I must, you know, then that inference about the original P is based off of that information. So I'm just breaking down this paragraph. When the sample size is large enough for the sample times the P value and the sample times the opposite of the P value to be both be at least 10. So greater than or equal to 10. This is called the large or large enough, the large counts condition or the large enough sample counts condition. Uh, I think they are interchangeable phrasings. But what that in essence means, the large counts condition basically means is that you've got um, a large enough sample size that your sampling distribution of p hat must be approximately normal or is more than likely approximately normal. So that's the large counts condition. In that case, we can use the normal distribution to calculate probabilities of obtaining an SRS in which p hat lies in specified intervals of value. So we will do an example, uh, the going to college example in class. If you're not in class, you can do that example for yourself on page 445 and 446. But again, I really want to focus on two major definitions. So conditions for normality always apply. There's the 10% condition. Does the size of your sample... Um, match no more than 10% of the original population size. In fact, some statisticians might even claim 5% is a better value, but for us, we're gonna call it the 10% value. My sample size must be no greater than one-tenth of the original population size. That's the 10% rule. Then we have the large accounts condition or the large enough counts condition. So in order to use the normal approximation, my for the, so, uh, the in order to make a sampling distributions p hat, be representative of the normal approximation. So I want to use normal approximation uh, formulas to talk about a sampling distribution of p hat. Then my n and my p multiplied together must be greater than or equal to 10. And my sample size, my n, and my opposite of p, 1 minus the p, must also be greater than 10. So it's, it's both dealing with 10, but one is less than and one is greater than. And so I just want to make sure we harp on this. So... There is a question on Moodle. It is regarding those definitions. I know you'll get it right. But beyond that, that's all I had for you today. So I wanted to do a quick wrap up. After this video or after our day in class, can you find the mean and standard deviation? Can you check your 10% condition uh, for your standard deviation sample proportions? Can you determine um, if it is approximately normal? And if it's normal, can you calculate probabilities using the normal distribution of a sample proportion? And that's all I got. So I will see you in class.